Waterbox Wednesday and the day before Thanksgiving. Yes. Waterbox Live, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. Very important topic, cord management. Yeah. And it's, it's very overlooked. Um, yeah, we've actually been really, yeah. really bad about it. Yeah. Um, we finally really came to terms with the fact that we have got to do something about the cords on the Dream Build, which is the 220 out in yes. the lobby. So yes. um, we finally tackled that. It was really bad. Yeah, and we're also <laughs> going to show you guys an update on the 220. A lot of you've been asking, "Hey, what's going on with the tank? How are the corals doing? How are the fish doing?" So it's been we're going to. a while since we've done be, anything with Yes, that. so we're going to show you that, and then we're also going to talk about Black Friday <gasps> specials. Uh, we are going to announce what they are here on this live stream. So stay tuned. Do not leave the stream. Um, we're also just a lot of things. Family reunion. Happy Thanksgiving. We got yeah. just so much going on. But let's start out with what we, what it all looked like. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It's not so proud. bad. We're not it's proud so bad. of this. Here we go. Uh, Keenan, show the picture. <laughs> Wait. Show the picture. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I ain't this, gonna lie. This is our, our dry side of the cabinet <laughs> for the 220 and it was a complete disaster. There's yeah. cords on the other side too with power strips. I think in total we had like four power strips all kind of together and um, could never really find any yeah. thing and of so what it was. <laughs> we've kept the door closed um, <laughs> for when guests come by because we don't want to show them this mess of cords. Um, and it doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Uh, so what we did is we went to Marine Depot, uh, our partners over there, and ordered one of their controller boards. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a universal board. They come in black or white. Um, and we said, hey, let's go ahead and clean this mess up. Yeah, so um, they do have two versions and we chose to do this one. Um, and you can see kind of like your size and where we want to put it because you have to figure where the controllers can reach to, mm -hmm. you know, access into that cabinet and everything. Because as you see, the front board is going to hold and kind of hide everything and have all your controllers on the front. So yeah, so the controller board itself is just a place for you to mount, you know, power supplies, um, controllers, um, apex units or whatever you have, any kind of gear that you're running. Um, you can mount them on this board and it kind of hides the wires behind it. It does and yeah. it makes it really easy to you know get to the different mm -hmm. controllers or power strips and um, you know not having to dig through or like ones being shut right. like we had our Vortec controllers and they were under a pile of wires we couldn't even get to them so mm -hmm. um, and oh my goodness look at that. <laughs> so <laughs> in order to install that board we had to take all the cords out of the cabinet and pay them just put them off to our nest that was already on the outside yeah. um, in order to start doing this. Yeah, and I took the door off and I was like, all right, so we pulled all the cords out, moved them behind the tank, um, and then one by one, I actually mounted the board. Um, this is actually before I realized that I needed to put a little bit of board underneath it to raise it up a little bit. So the frame um, has to be elevated yeah. to have the front facing control board onto it. Mm -hmm. um, so we did go through all these steps and then we did have to add a piece of board under it. But um, nonetheless, the install is relatively the same. Yeah, and this is, I mean, I'd have to admit, this is a project. It was, uh, yeah. You know, this is not a quick, you know, two minute, I'm gonna, you know, slap this in. So here, I actually ordered some stickers from Marine Depot to label each cord. Mm -hmm. And then I also had the label maker out so that we were um, for extras, because we run them two heaters. Right, and to pumps. customize how you want to label them. Yeah. Um, so we did use a mixture of both of those. Mm -hmm. uh, any option works for, I mean, we've used in the past a piece of tape with marker on mm -hmm. it to label the cords. So any of it works. Mm -hmm. um, and finally got everything kind of mounted on there. But it, it's one of those things like, takes a while to do, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it looks really good now. And bam, look, look at that. that. Come on now. Look at that. That is what it looks like. I didn't even put the door back on because it looks so nice. I know. It actually looks really <laughs> good because we have the LEDs in the cabinet like we have before. Yeah. Um, and we mounted our controller for that and the sensor so it can be seen um, when we use the remote. 
and it just looks so clean now. Like it's very we've clean. always been very embarrassed by our cords on this tank, um, yeah. and now we can actually open that cabinet and not be scared of our yeah. It looks really really cords. good. So we're gonna give you a closer look here in just a few minutes, um, and we're gonna zoom in on some of those corals so you guys can check that out. Uh, but first, we need to talk about. Black Friday. Everyone's been waiting. Everybody's they want to know, mm -hmm. you know, what is Waterbox doing for Black Friday? Yeah. And we're going to announce the sales today mm -hmm. um, just so that you know them, but they're not going into effect until Black Friday. And they will go through mm -hmm. Cyber Monday. Yes. So, so the website's going to go live. Um, but once again, you cannot, if you place your order today, you will not get the promo. You have to wait. Um, so, but we're just kind of releasing it so you can see. And we start off right here with the free Ciche whale filter with the Clear Series, the Clear Pro, and the Terra. Right. And for kind of details and stuff, it does list down there which model comes with which whale filter. And you can click on details to learn about that filter. Um, we do want to make a note, and this applies for all the things that we're doing. Substitutions, you cannot substitute, you cannot exchange. If this is the promo, this is your free item that we are doing. Mm -hmm. So you cannot change it later. I didn't want to. Yes. Know. Exactly. So scrolling down um, for the hey. saltwater guys, free NIOS torque reactor. Do you even torque? Listen, get you a torque reactor, everybody. I mean, these things are awesome. They're super hot right now. I mean, you throw your media in there. They easily swap in and out. Mm -hmm. So now with all the Marine series, the Reef and the Reef Pro, you're getting a free torque reactor. Yeah, so that's the torque reactor body, depending on the size of the yep. tank, and then the dock for it. So you're up and running, uh, full system on the torque reactor. Yes, but wait, there's more. <laughs> We're doing a special with Unique Corals, mm -hmm. right? So we are now offering a gift card to Unique Corals only for this weekend coming right. up. This is a very limited time offer, um, pretty much 20% credit, right? Right, so you will, purchase the gift card and mm -hmm. check out on our website with it. You are not going to get that gift card right away because mm -hmm. since it's a promotion through us for you, we will then send Unique Corals information when we get back to Monday mm -hmm. and they will send the person the gift card info. So it's not going to be as soon as you purchase it, you can use it or you'll have it. So do keep in mind and we do have it listed that you will have it by around 12 6 mm -hmm. at the latest. Um, you'll have received your gift card from Unique Corals to use yes. at that point. So that's very yeah. important to know that it's not going to be an instant gift card. Mm -hmm. So this is also only until Monday. So this is the only time yeah. you're going to see this. This is uh, literally a one-time deal. So scrolling down, also, man, vector pumps and Nero pumps and torque reactors, XP Aqua, 20 off filter socks. <laughs> Come on, man, get you some fresh socks. Uh, Marco Rocks, uh, even I think our swag is on sale, right, Keenan? Yes, um, swag. Oh, can't forget about the family reunion. Yes, and you do get a free weekend pass with every purchase um, for this time from the Friday through Monday um, sales for Black Friday through Sunday, Saturday, Monday. Mm -hmm. So you'll get that. That will be sent to you after. Mm -hmm. um, whenever mm -hmm. we start to get through all the orders, we'll send you the link for to redeem your pass for that. And then we've got our swag and then select aquariums. We have a few peninsulas and frag models mm -hmm. that are 20% um, off. 20 off. So big savings wow. on those. Um, so wow. almost the whole website is on sale or you get a free promotional product. Mm -hmm. And I do want to make note that Waterbox um, customer support and all of us will not be here That's until correct. Monday yes. so that we can have a holiday with our families. Um, so if you have a question, it's not something that we can answer until we get back in. Absolutely. Um, so just keep in mind that Waterbox is closed. Yes. So, but all that is going to go, it's actually live on the website now, right, Keenan? It's just the deals don't go into effect until pretty much 12.01 a.m. Uh, Friday morning. Right. So you can plan everything, yeah. mm -hmm. decide what you want to get, see what your free product's going to be, see what your discounts, but it just is not going to count. Yeah. Um, also, and it's on there, but I just want to reiterate that the free promotional product mm -hmm. that you get, depending on what your purchase mm -hmm. is, does not show up in the cart. Correct. So this yes. is something mm -hmm. that when mm -hmm. we process your order and it's set to ship out, mm -hmm. your free item will ship at that point, yep. um, but it's not going to be in your cart. So don't freak out. Just don't freak buy out. it. We will track it and make sure that you get your free product. Yes. So now let's go back to the lobby um, and take a closer look at this controller board that we hooked up. And let's zoom in on these corals. We'll also answer your questions. Um, we got a lot of people in here. So let's check it like out. All righty. It doesn't work. Here we go. Boop. 
So show them what we did there, Jess. All right, so with our control board is we did on our bottom power strip here, we decided to mount it onto the front of the board so that these are all the equipment that we use and need to turn off for a water mm -hmm. change. So we've got like our auto top off, our two heaters, skimmer, mm -hmm. um, our things that we need to unplug and manually kind of turn off when we do a water change. So we had an external facing uh, power strip here that we Velcroed on, so those are easy access for us. This is the sensor for the LED um, strip lights that we have in the cabinet so that whenever we click at it, it is easy. Um, we put our LED controller on here, just Velcro, put everything to it. Then we have our two vortex and our vector pump. And since they have the controller, we can just use these right here to adjust them. Um, easy access, all the extra cords and everything are behind the unit. And um, even like with the Marine, they have little slot covers to kind of just even tidy it up even more. But everything we need to access in general mm -hmm. is right on the controller board. Yeah. We won't have to go to unplug anything. We won't have to touch any other power strips. Um, you know, everything is just pure easy access and it looks so much better. So good. Uh, Calypso's Reefing says, looking good. Uh, Adventurous Reefing says, I just ordered a second board yesterday. Oh. So, um, yeah, these are really great. They come in black or white. Um, and they also have a deluxe version, too, that has LEDs in it. And I think it's a slightly bigger yeah. as well. Um, but it out. has the LED strips that come with it. So if you really like the colorful effect in your cabinet, you can have your control board with it, too. Yeah, so show so. them uh, some of these corals, Jess. Look, this tank is doing really, really well. It I is. Mean, it's it's been... doing really good. Um, probably one of the things that people stand out the most is, like, our leathers. Um, and it is getting towards the end of the day a little bit, so they're not fully open. But, I mean, these toadstool leathers are absolutely massive. Um, but all the corals are doing really well. I mean, we've got our usual boundary wars on some corals, but mm -hmm. um, you can see everything is really thriving and flourishing It's doing in here. really well. The monies are doing fantastic in here. Um, yeah, our encrusting monies and like liptastrias and stuff are doing really, really well. We've got your usual soft corals. Yeah, I mean, even that rainbow <laughs> bottom anemone is out, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Over here, know this one here? Right there. Oh, there you go. It's under there. Uh, weird thing about a rainbow bottom anemone is he kind of shows up after a water change and then disappears and then comes back after a water change. So, um, kind of a odd one, but it's one of those really mm -hmm. rare anemones that we are lucky to get one of the first ones that came in. So. Yeah, so we did a water change on this tank earlier today. Um, pretty big water change. I mean, we, we dropped this thing, I would say about 75 gallons. Yeah, somewhere around there. And we also, part of the reason why is because we wanted to clean up the sand bed. Shells had accumulated. Um, the sand has just gotten kind of grody and chunky. Mm -hmm. We had a little bit of algae one to touch up on, um, and it looks a lot, lot better today. Plus, we'll it's going to be an thing. extended weekend. You know, we want the tank to really do well. You know, since we won't be here. Yeah. And um, fed kind of heavy today. We see we have a lot of leathers in here. Um, Elegance and the bubble coral have been in here for a while and are just absolutely huge. I don't know if you can look back in our like our Grafton Monty back there of the different colors. Those are pretty cool. It's actually starting to kind of like swirl and cap. Um, and that will actually will like make layers and shelf up and just continue to mix kind of like the red and the green into it. But no one's seen this tank for a while and it's yeah, definitely... It's, it's been here in the lobby. It's, it's doing really, really great. I think we just hit our like, right at one year mm -hmm. on having this tank set up. So It's doing really, really good. Um, it's very impressive. Everybody loves it when they come in. They're like, man, this thing is just really, really nice. And uh, I mean, we've got just all kinds of stuff in here. A lot of softies, you know, and it's just, it's doing really well. I'm just impressed. And also we have the frag tank right next to it. So that's another option, guys. So, you know, if you already have a big tank, you can go ahead and grab a frag tank. We do have them on 20% uh, off. They're on 20% off right now. And you can easily put it right next to your tank. I just say whenever we had the shot from in there of both these next to each yeah, other, it's really cool. It looks really, really nice to have a frag next to your water box, and we have a lot of people that have multiple water boxes. So, um, does anyone yes. have any questions? Uh, or? Adventures and reading uh, and reefing says nice Monty cap. Richard says beautiful. Richard's not with us today. No, yeah, Richard is out. Um, but yeah. so, um, Cheetah J one two three says very nice tank. Get your water box, everybody. Hey. Oh my well, thank goodness. you, Cheetah J. Cheetah J. So uh, Esther says, what do you guys use to clean the glass on that 220? Um, we use generally a, a magnet, and then mm -hmm. we sometimes add a scraper attachment to the magnet if we need to get some of the harder algae, mm -hmm. and then like a handheld scraper for around the sand bed. Yeah, and how about for the outside? You, you use it. Uh, microfiber cloth. 
Mm -hmm. That's about it. Um, if you have a lot of residue, you can use like some RO water or even vinegar and water mm -hmm. and kind of wipe it down and then dry it off with the microfiber. And that yeah. keeps it really, really. So it's doing clear. really well. I know, guys, it's a very, very popular tank. You know, everybody really loves this size. It's the dream build, it man. It's the dream build. It's a six foot water box, 220. Um, it's real impressive. So, but the cord management, we're finally cleaning up the cords. We probably need to do it on the other one. Um, no. <laughs> but, uh, and also, I have something where I want to tell everybody, too, here once we get back in the studio about our new build that's coming starting next week. Oh. So let's oh, check this out. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk, talk about it. Oh, my goodness. Come on now. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I think that's part of the deal. Yeah. Hold on now. Here we go. So, um, just heads up on Facebook. I can't get yeah. this to load, oh. so that's okay. I've got YouTube comments. up, so oh, we, we got there you that. Go. Um, okay. But so we gave you the update on the things. We showed the controller board. Very easy to install. Well, I say easy to install. Hmm. Took a couple hours, you know, yeah. to get it all uh, hooked up. Um, but we're going to talk about the family reunion. Um, but before I do that, next week, Jess. Can I not surprise. say it? It's a surprise? I don't know. I thought it was. Is it a surprise? I don't know why it needs to be. It doesn't need to be. <laughs> listen, I'm going to. All right, Keenan goes, it's it. not a surprise. All right, and listen, just go I'm going to take the cat out of the bag. So, uh, we, Eel Island, right? Everybody's been following along. Eel Island, massive build that we did. Yes, yes. It's time to convert Eel Island. Oh my goodness. To something else. I don't know if people are going to love you or hate you for this. I, I don't, don't know. know. It's going to be a great topic, <laughs> very controversial, uh, but we are looking forward to it. It's going to be a three part build starting next week on Wednesday. Eel Island is coming down. Eel Island is coming down. And it's going to go back up as something else. I don't know so, how that, I don't, I'm, I'm waiting to see. Say. Even even Emily says, "Here we go." Uh -oh. She wants to see how people Listen, think of it. It's uh, gonna be epic, <laughs> epic. Listen, I'm gonna say it. We're going freshwater, everybody. Oh my god. That's right. I'm gonna convert this tank from saltwater to freshwater, and people are gonna be shocked. Six foot peninsula freshwater. A six foot peninsula freshwater, and I'm telling you, it's gonna be epic. You gotta make it good because a lot epic. of people. Are, I think a lot of people right now are doubting. I know. This decision. They are. So you really have to make this um, I know. beyond impressive. Like, uh, oh, yes. listen. So. <laughs> it's going to be. So we're going to show you what it takes to convert a tank from saltwater to freshwater because our customer service is actually getting a lot of questions about this. It's a good topic in Great general. Topic. Yeah. Um, just to show how to do the conversion mm -hmm. that pretty much all water box models can be used as a freshwater. It doesn't matter if it's mm -hmm. a sump or not, if it's called a reef something. Um, and I think just to see the process of how to completely change a tank, even if it was saltwater to another type of saltwater, yes. it's yeah. still the same principle. So I think it'll be really good for that. Yeah. So Calypso's Reefing says, what? And we got a couple people <laughs> like, oh, head, ex head explode. Adventures yeah. Reefing says, no. <laughs> I mean, this is going to get crazy, guys. So, you know, what better way to do it? So, I don't know how this is going to go. Whatever. So, we're going to, so live, starting next week, right? We're going to tear the whole tank down. We're, rocks are coming out. Things are going to be flying, right? It's going to be crazy. And it's so, going to be a quick overhaul. I mean, one, two, three. And this thing's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, definitely so, put that on your calendar for next week. Dang. Just because, if nothing else, you can... We can all just battle out in the comments of what we think. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be heated. Yes. Um, but, yes. Right. So Cheetah J says, Dean's gone mad. Yeah. Watch out, everybody. So family reunion. Let's talk about that real quick before we go. Um, Florida Keys, February 1st and 2nd. Um, great event. Tons of speakers. Tons of vendors coming. Not yeah. a trade show. Just kind of hanging out. Yeah, so it was a good mm -hmm. good time with some workshops and speakers and just kind of kind of a great a great venue, great place to be. Mm -hmm. um, and you are, if you're making a purchase on Black Friday or through Cyber Monday, we'll be getting a free pass yes. to it. Yeah, so. free pass. It's going to be awesome. So let's show that video real quick. Uh, a little summary uh, that we just shot of what to expect. So check this out. You are invited to the Waterbox Family Reunion. Join us February 1st and 2nd at the Hawks Cay Resort in the Florida Keys. Gather with fellow hobbyists as you learn from industry professionals. Listen to speakers or play outdoors with the many available activities. With over five pools in total, the main pool is at the center of the action. 
This is where we'll be holding the Cannonball Splash Contest. For those wanting quiet time, head to the Tranquility Pool. For the ultimate Keys experience, visit the Saltwater Lagoon where you can explore aquatic livestock in their natural environment. Many activities are included with your stay. Grab a snorkel, try a paddleboard, kayak with friends, or just watch the dolphins play at the neighboring Dolphin Connection. We have many planned hangouts, which include cornhole, frisbee, putt-putt, and even some dodgeball. We have partnered up with discounts for Soleil Water Sports and the Dolphin Encounter. With all of these activities, you're gonna work up an appetite. Try some island cuisine from the many restaurants and tiki bars, including one of our favorites, Angler and Ales, where we'll be watching the big game on Sunday. Don't forget to register for the Margaritaville Saturday night reception. Space is limited and includes food, beverages, and a live steel drum band. The fun doesn't stop here. Every ticket to the reunion grants you access to the Aquarium Encounters, one of their premium aquarium experiences where you can pet manta rays and swim with native species in their massive cylinder tank. Enjoy the tranquility of the Florida Keys and join us for the family reunion. Room reservations are limited and are going fast. For more information, please visit waterboxaquariums.com forward slash the family reunion. Oh my goodness. Listen, I love reading these comments. Adventures in Reefing says, Dean just wants to use that freshwater rock from the cube battle. You're never going to live the cube <laughs> battle down. Listen, and your alien freshwater tank. The it alien will forever tank, be with you. I'm telling you. I did not win that, but that's okay. You know, I, I, was, <laughs> I, know who did. I, I was thinking just... Maybe like I put a thousand neon tetras in this thing. Um, I like mean, something, no. something crazy. Like, I'm going to say no. Like, man, no. wait until you see what I got planned. I mean, this thing is going to be so crazy. It's going to be awesome. Um, guys, definitely cash in on the special deals that start Friday, run all the way through Monday, yep. right here at waterboxquariums.com. Um, also remember to support uh, on Saturday, Small Business Saturday. Yes. Support your local retail store because uh, without those guys, man, listen, you know, we, we all wouldn't be here. So um, definitely uh, eat a lot of turkey. Yeah, everyone enjoy their Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's all posted on our website what's going to be on sale, promotional, but enjoy your, you know, your holiday. And mm -hmm. we'll be back on Monday in the office and back here on Wednesday yeah, for obviously Wednesday. the most crazy build. Epic guy. You're not going <laughs> to want to miss this one. I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you on Wednesday. See you next week. Bye.